Jen and Jamie on a Thursday. Hey, friends. Hey. We are coming to you live from the cafeteria, which, <laughs> by magic, is just a green screen with some random picture of a cafeteria that we pulled off the internet. No big building plans were done while we've been apart. <laughs> nope, we're just in a corner of the fellowship hall. Anyways, uh, Jamie, what you got there in your hands? It's a lunchbox. It's more than a lunchbox, Jamie. It's time for Jen, Jen and Jamie, Jamie on a Thursday. So if you remember, friends, last week we pulled out a highlighter. We did a highlighter. Thank you again, Casa family, for telling us that you were sitting next to a highlighter. <laughs> When I think of a highlighter, Jamie, mm -hmm. I think of using it in school yeah. or in work um, to mark those important things that kind of stick out to mm -hmm. you or things that you should memorize and know about. Um, I think of studying for tests. Mm -hmm. You know, anytime you were studying for a test, you highlighted something you wanted to sure. remember, something Makes that really notes. stood out. Yeah. Now, I have my Bible. Mm -hmm. You have your Bible. Yep. Most people think that because it's the Word of God, you should not mark up mm -hmm. the Bible. That it's too sacred it's to too touch. too sacred. However, it's just the opposite. God wants you to read and to mark and to learn the words that he has given to mm -hmm. us. I mean, this is our guidebook for life. Um, so if you see, I got my Bible, this one actually, that I use on a daily basis at my confirmation mm -hmm. many moons ago. <laughs> So it's got lots of notes in it. I mean, look at this page in Genesis. I mean, Genesis alone has a billion notes yeah. in it. I also got my Bible at my confirmation mm -hmm. just a couple years ago. <laughs> um, but the same thing. My grandparents gave this to me and then said, use it, open it, read it, um, wear it out. And so same thing. If you look at just some random pages that I have here, you know, I've got notes, things underlined, things circled, mm -hmm. um, stuff that I want to remember. So if I hear a sermon or if I'm in Bible study or if I'm listening to a speaker talk about a particular Bible verse and there's something that really stands out, mm -hmm. I mark it down so that I know I won't forget. And later when I go back and read it again, then it's the notes are all right there for me to remember. Yeah, we've got favorite Bible passages marked, um, things that we need to know, or things that when people come to us mm -hmm. and ask us about, we've got already marked and ready to go that we can help them out with. So we encourage you, friends, to read, mark, and learn. And if you are willing, share with us a picture of your marked up Bible, because this is one of the most important, no, the most important mm -hmm. book that you can use in life. So we encourage you to use it in that way. Absolutely. All right, friends, are you ready? Because with that being said, it is time for... What's in the lunchbox? All right, so what's in the lunchbox? Let's see, ooh, drum roll. We have a mug rug, a little coaster, mug coaster. Mm. Thank you, Pat Munstock, for saying that this is what was directly to your left when we asked. So, what are I, we going to come up with? I am not this? sure how we're going to tie a mug rug to the Bible. However, we have not failed a challenge yet. So no, we are on a roll. I believe that by next week we will <laughs> definitely come up with something. So, from Jen and Jamie. May your lunchbox always be full. And we'll see you next time. Jen and Jamie on a Thursday.